All right, hi everybody, welcome back, Attorney Steve Vonder, and just a quick warning. When you file for a trademark, you may get these solicitations that look kind of like invoices, don't they? Looks a little bit like an invoice. It says here, pay online or pay by check, and you may go, well, I know I just, either you filed for a trademark, or maybe you had a law firm, like Vonder and Legal, file for a trademark, when you get these, this, this message is to our clients as well, these are not something you should be paying, okay? Um, here's one, I, I just registered for Piracy Log for my infringement news channel, and I got this in the mail. I just wanna say here, and it's got some reference numbers, application numbers, class 45 where the trademark's in, and it looks kind of official, just a one-pager, comes like this, scan to pay, and this is $1,375 here, in case you didn't notice. And what are you getting? Uh, this is all you're getting. We are reaching out to inform you about the public registration of your trademark, which serves as the foundation of our offer. We would like to offer you the opportunity to register your brand in our private database, located at www.tm-register.com. To proceed with this offer, we kindly request the payment of the complete publication fee, which will establish a binding contract between you and TM Register. This contract will remain in effect for a period of three years. So what, this is only a three-year fee? I don't know, what, what is this even saying here? And you see here, please pay this amount on acceptance within 10 days. So they really make it look like something like an invoice you're supposed to pay. Let's see, at this stage, we do not have an, a, an existing business relationship. The offer solely pertains to the inclusion of your trademark in our database at www.tm-register.com. I looked it up, there's really not much to see there. Okay, you can go check it out for yourself. Uh, but I would definitely not be paying these. So if you see these, you're not sure, call your lawyer, or if you did it, um, read these things carefully. But I, me personally, I do not recommend I don't see what the actual value proposition would be for you to pay $13.75 to get in a database. What's that gonna do for you? So look it up, make your own choice, make your own decision. This is just my opinion. And here was another one I got as well. So this was WTP, this one is TM Register. Looks official, right? It's got piracy log. I got this one as well uh, for piracy log, WTP. Uh, same thing, it looks just the same. And when you look up their website right here, W tptrademark.com looks the same as the other one. And again, what's the value proposition? Why would I want to be there? This one's fourteen seventy. Wow, please pay the amount on acceptance within 10 days. Please don't forget to quote the reference number. Same thing, please pay by check. Oh, here's Fresh Meadows, New York, okay? Same thing, you can read this. I'm not gonna read it for you, it's very similar. You go to their website, looks just like the one up here that I was telling you about. So guys, these are not something that are required to be paid. I don't know that you would get uh, I don't know what type of value you would actually get out of this. Feel free to look into it, but I took a peek. And me personally, this is not something I have any interest as a trademark lawyer doing. So that's my warning for today. General legal information only. This is my opinion. And uh, just be very careful because you will get a lot of these things when you file for a trademark. People trying to get extra money because you don't know what's going on. But be careful. Don't fall, it, fall for it. Attorney Steve says, do your due diligence if you're not sure, you know, you could go with a firm like Ponder Legal. Thank you much. Have a great day. Got to run. Bye now.